Hello everyone, my name is Lush Pro. let's play Marvel Spider-Man 2. Alrighty, in the previous video by for the gameplay walkthrough part number 3, we are actually done for the during the part of a mission, it was from the... It's from the, the role like we used to. So since it was from the Harry Osborn into the flashback for back in the... At the moments later. And also we got Not On My Watch. Not On My Watch, which means basically it's from the... The Scorpion's baby sitting. It's from... You know the guy from the, the, back in the field part of the previous game from Marvel Spider-Man 1? Also the villain, his name is guys from Martin, whatever that name is. It's like a black age modern, so basically it is. But also we actually did from the, the there is a deal, the super villains include by Spider-Man 2 as well, which means... We actually done for the for this missions for now, and also we got Uncle Aaron is back. So this mission is called for the Amdulas. So in this near main missions, I'm sure if there is a new one we got. It this mission is called FNC. No way, FNSM app will press it. It's part of a. The site missions for it for the zero out of six. It's it's gonna be a short one for for now. We can get later on during the fin finishing on into the main story. If there is a warning editions for the main story, there will be at the last main mission during next few part of the video soon. In this video here, this is a gameplay walkthrough. Part number four. So that's right. Gameplay walkthrough part number four. So Emily's uncle Aaron wants to meet up for wonder what he wants. So there's only one way to find out we get there for the continue on into the main mission stuff for now. So yeah, I will get continue on into the for the main missions for now. In this gameplay from the drink into the cutscenes, this video here will be in during cutscenes, will be on spoilers alert. Before the video starts, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also if you like this video, if you like and turn on notifications on into the, the bell button and feel free to follow us into my social media by Twitter, Instagram as well. And it also you can follow me on TikTok as well. So also do we got social media platform. So every single part of the posting on like platinum trophies, official announcement, stories, and much much more. You can check it out as a Lush Pro Productions. Include any platform you will see on bonnet and on the description below. Or it also you can see as the bottom of a down screen from my username will be by Lush Pro Productions. And then let's get continue on into the main missions right here and right now. We 
You really gotta do this with the mask on? Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Kid? Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but... Parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. You getting some? How did you... And Miles, that Lee business? Don't be stupid. This dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on with you? Our school, college, anyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code from my suit. Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Don't cheat. Take your time. Done. Not bad, kid. Pull it open from down here. You would have made a decent problem. You should be seeing how to get inside now. Got it. You wanna finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. Also, you got the suit tech as well. So you have received a rare token part thing, which means you're using your resources to unlock new suits, gadgets, and suit tech. And you can boost your combat and travelers' abilities by upgrading suit tech. 
Okay, it looks interesting. Select health. And upgrade your health using a rare tech part. And then collect and use ad ad initial resources to further upgrade your tech suits. Oh, I'm surprised I actually like this for the part of the suit tech. So like, anything else that should be like part of a trophy requirement for it. It should be like the easiest platinum should be like two out of two out of ten, maybe. Oh well, well. Uh, Let's get continue on into gameplay. Listen, this isn't the only stash. Unc. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. Don't want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay, I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. Wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Miles, me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con... Está bien. Sí, Ma, todo bien. Estaba ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah, ¿y cómo está él? Está trotando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out to the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. Someone's playing with fireworks? Bad idea. Oh, hold on. Fireworks? Better warn those guys they're illegal here without a permit before someone calls the cops on them. Technology program in the state, and I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon. I knew those fireworks looked shady. Is he gonna be okay? I think so. Looks like he's just unconscious. But I'm not taking any chances. Ah, uh, where am I? Spider-Man? Don't worry. I'm taking you to a hospital. Also, for obvious reasons, I gotta tell you personal fireworks are illegal in New York. Uh, we didn't know. This is there for our brother, Lex. We, we lost him a few years ago, and he always loved him, so... We try to launch a few around his birthday. Oh man, I'm sorry. Spider-Man? Wow. There. The staff here is great. They'll take good care of you. Thanks. Actually, wait. If those fireworks we bought were sketchy, maybe you should check where we got them from. Some docks north of us between those two bridges. I think I know which place you mean. I'll take a look. Hey, 
Hey, just dropped Mike off. He thought I should check where y'all bought your fireworks from, too. The dock guys? That's a good call. But watch out. I know I saw two of them with guns. Like serious guns. I'll be careful. Thanks. Bro, watch it next to that barrel. We can't make any money if our stock blows up. You want to do this? Get back to checking the guns and let me work my magic. What was that? That him? Fireworks! They're lit! Uh, the river! I can chuck them! Wait! We lit two more? Birthday, Lex. Was that you? Oh man. I hope Mike saw that from the hospital. Lex would have loved it. Hope y'all enjoy your time in New York. Stay safe. Anyone feeling that? Right now. City seems pretty quiet. Still no sign of Lee. Or the gang that took him. Wonder if Pete's having better luck than me. Disaster befalls our beautiful city. And guess who's to blame? In what should have been a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by the proper authority and completely botched it. A new group of mercenaries made their presence known in the hijacking of the supervillain Scorpion and Mr. Negative. Not much is known. Hey, Miles. What's up? Hey, good to see you. Man, I can't 
can't believe Mr. Atlas is gonna be here at BV. Maybe one of those scholarships has my name on it. If he likes my sound. Hey, Miles, over here! Hey. You made it. I want to talk to him about that computational physics program. We got your missing person report half an hour ago. What happened? That's just it. We don't know. We left to get something from her car and then never came back. I just heard two words, missing in person. So I'm gonna say yes. Go ahead. We'll save your seat. Gotta catch up to the principal. Maybe I could find out more. Do you have any of her personal items? Yes. She left her phone behind. Is it unlocked? Have you seen any texts coming in or anything? Good. Here we go. Just some notifications from her fitness tracker. It's counting her steps, wherever she is. The students adore Miss Ferguson. I hope she's all right. Please find her. We'll do our best. Miss Ferguson's missing. Oh, man. Sounds like she's still wearing her fitness tracker. Wonder if I could find that signal. All right. Let's see where this fitness tracker is. Last known location, Dawson Harbor. Beginning text-to-speech call with Haley Cooper. Miles, Mr. Atlas just got here. ETA? Oh, man. Gotta find Miss Ferguson first. Be there when I can. He's handing out scholarship applications right now. Ugh. Can you get one for me? I'll do better than that. Send you a link. Thanks. Good luck. And hurry. Neo, Miles. What's up, Genki? Can this wait? Not really. I've got Mr. Atlas here. I told him how you were missing the fair for volunteer work. And he asked for a phone call with you. Is uh, now a good time? Thanks, Genki. But now is definitely not a good time. Here he is, Mr. Atlas. I know you've got a flight to catch. Yankee! Hi, Miles? Uh, yeah. Hello. You're whispering. Is now a bad time? Uh, no. I'll make it work. That's me. Great. I heard you're interested in our music technology program. So, tell me about yourself. What do you do for fun? Fun? Uh, well, I used to do music production. But it's been hard to find time lately. Genki here showed me some of your samples. Good stuff. Particularly your song called Swinging. What was your inspiration? Uh, yeah. I was, uh, just swinging one day and thinking. Uh, the tune just kind of came to me. Interesting. And can you tell me about what's important to you in life? Being there for people when they need me. Being reliable. Just working. So many people can depend on. Very interesting. And finally, why do you think you'd make a great addition to our school? I don't give up. And, uh, I care about doing the right thing. I won't let you down. Fascinating. Well, Miles, thanks for your time. I think I've got enough here. Thanks. Uh, do you want my email so we can stay? Sorry, gotta go. Um, I'll call you later. Or email. That could have gone better. Maybe I can make it back to BV in time to meet Mr. Atlas in person and clarify some things. All right, with those guys out of the way, let's see where that tracker signal leads. Like there I she is. I this glass be looks pretty breakable. Not <laughs> I got you. Are you okay? I'm fine. But who are these people? How do they know I work for Rand? Let's figure that out when we're not in the hostage situation. <laughs> I'm just watching the spider. <laughs>
You hide. I've got these guys. by yourself? It's in my job description. Ready to go? Are you going to carry me? Sure. I've carried people before. As long as I can get verbal confirmation that if I throw up on you, you won't sue me. Uh, consider this confirmation. Just try to tell a brother. <laughs> Thanks to Spider-Man, our treasured teacher, Miss Ferguson, is back with us safe and sound. To show our gratitude, it is my honor to declare Spider-Man the official hero of Brooklyn Visions. <laughs> you are always welcome here, Spider-Man. Thank you. And now, back to the quad. We've got a robotics demonstration to do. Much time. Hi, Miles. I appreciate your dedication to interviewing, but I could tell you were clearly busy with something important. Mr. Sinclair put in an excellent word for you, as did Principal Evans. So let's do this right and meet this week on campus, in person. <laughs> Got a few app requests popping up on BB's campus. Thought I'd call you directly. Hey, Pete, you ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from NJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this Foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. And whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get the story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too.
was wondering what this place was. It's Emily's tree. This is perfect. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him... Aside for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... You got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission, to heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, Jane. I just checked in on Dan and Annie. That data is not cross-tabulated. What I learned we did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? This is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolf. Oh, nice! Yes! Yep, you're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, why not? Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. This is a reminder that Dr. Cox's work is Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea.
<laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Want to feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well-studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool! May would have loved this place. Did you see the monthly schedule update? Hey! Yeah. What are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road-ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Swarming is Drones? Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. So much to see here. Where do I even start? This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. I wonder how it ended up here. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school to middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? Do you know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Rabor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, 
Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project. And lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Everything held up, so. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Interesting. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show-offy. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? 
And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> Quick thing. <laughs> I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. <gasps> hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. Well, anyways... <laughs> I might be going to end up here in this video here for you guys. So that's all we are playing as the Marvel Spider-Man 2 for the gameplay walkthrough part number 4. If you want to see more videos... Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free... They could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. <laughs> yeah, that was a uh, interrupting stuff on subtitles pops up out of nowhere. So yeah, let's try this again. If if you want to see more videos, check it out as a Lush Pro Productions here on into my YouTube channel. So. From Marvel Spider-Man 2, every single part of a video and part of a main mission, site missions, and much, much more, every video has been during the during the followed by storyline for every single game for now. So, so make sure go check it out as a Marvel Spider-Man 2 here on into my. Hey, what's up? Just wanted to let you know that I talked to Gloria, and Feast is gonna send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go through everything by then. Could you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with everything. I'll call him right now. But don't push yourself too hard, Parker. I'm serious. Hey, you know I'd much rather be curled up next to you with the latest physics journal right now. <sighs> Especially that French one. Sometimes you're just too romantic. I'll talk to you later. 
I'm gonna go pause this for now. It keeps the conversation to now. So, yeah. So, make sure to go check it out as a Lush Pro Productions into the Marvel Spider-Man 2 here on into my YouTube channel. So, so I hope you guys enjoy in this video. So, make sure please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, if you like this video, if you like, and turn on notifications on into the, the bell button. And feel free to follow us into my social media by Twitter, Instagram as well. And you can follow me on TikTok as well. So every single platform into the social media for very, very cool stuff about Platinum Trophy and social media story and much, much more. You can check it out as a for the bottom of the description below. And you can see it at the bottom of a down screen. From my username will be by Lush Pro Productions. And thanks for watching. I will see you guys next part of a video. Like for part number five. So, bye for now everyone.